Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. This Sunday, ensure that you check out the Savannah Lamar pre-Christmas plant sale. Fruit trees, garden plants, and flowers will be on sale. It will be held this Sunday, December 11, 2022, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. It will be held at the Sean Lavery Faith Hall at 22 Lewis Street in Savannah Lamar. There will also be a masterclass in planting. Admission is free and you don't have to bother cook Sunday dinner before you go because food and refreshment will be on sale. Don't miss it. So, we continue to drive. Sit back, relax and drive with me. Now, you ever hear the story of a Rasta man from Hanover? He went to visit an old family friend in Montego Bay. When he reached at the house, he knocked on the door. A young boy was in the house with some friends. So, hear the young boy to his friends. Watch me and Natty today. The boy then asked, A who that? Hear the Rasta now. It is I and I, Jarastafari. King of kings. Lord of lords. Conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Son of Haile Selassie. <laughs> the boy. Him decided, say, today, he may go mess with Natty. Hear the little boy now. Well, it's me alone there at the moment and me now open the door for so much a who know. <laughs> so, you would have seen the video that I did about Candy this morning. Candy sent me photos of a note she wrote indicating that she was going to take her own life. If you haven't, I implore you to go back and watch that video. Well, the good news is, Candy... She's alive and well. Candy, she has taken down the note of her DP and replaced it with that. It says, I am safe. Learn to cherish every moment of life. Candy, she also sent me this WhatsApp message. I'm going to read it. It's on your screen. It says, Good day, Papai. This is Candy. And before I say anything to you, I want to give God thanks for life. The best thing God have placed on this earth is life and I realized that I have to be grateful for it. Candy went on. I was about to take my own life but then I remember my three kids. Who's gonna be there for them? Who's gonna tell them I love them? So I drink my pain away until I fell asleep. Don't even know when I fell asleep. I just find myself awake and I have to give God thanks for waking me up. But I can tell you, depression can cause a person to take their own life. Candy went on. My message to people out there that have been hurt, depressed, stressed and feel like taking their own lives. Just remember that life is beautiful and life is gifted. Life was given to us a billion years ago and anyone who take their own life will cause sin on themselves. I beg God, forgive me and I will never think of such thing again. Candy, enough respect. We will talk. Alright? Now, you would have heard the interview I did with Andre Reid, also known as Little Zul, yesterday. Some persons... They were saying that they are upset because I interviewed him and he's a murderer and all these things. Some persons, they were saying that they were disappointed because I was laughing with him like we are friends. <laughs> Let me remind you about something. Let me remind you about something. I was the first blogger to have carried a story about Andre Reid absconding bail. There is a thumbnail for the video we carried on Thursday, December 1. That video is still on the channel. I haven't deleted it and I am not going to be deleting it on this channel. Anyone who called me for an interview, it is likely that I am going to be interviewing them. You may not like my interview style, but at the end of the day, 
not everything I do or say you are gonna like. The interview I did with Andre Reid was about whether he was wanted or not. Whether a warrant was out for his arrest or not. It is true that he went back to court on Thursday and he was readmitted to bail. The interview wasn't about whether he is a murderer or he's innocent. He's going back to court next year. So let's hope that the witnesses go to court so that justice can be served. I arrest my case. Now, I've been telling you about some robberies taking place in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. This one took place Saturday night, December 3, 2022, about some minutes to 8 o'clock. It took place at Hakashan Wholesale and Retail on Barnett Street in Montego Bay. We are learning that the owner, a Chinese businessman, and the staff, they were in the supermarket. It is said that three hoodlums entered the supermarket, posing as customers. They then brandished guns and juke down the owner of the supermarket, robbing him of the day's sales. We are told that it's hundreds of thousands of dollars. They then escaped in a black motor car. Now, <laughs> it seems as if supermarkets in Montego Bay will have to start closing their doors before nightfall. Why may I tell you? Now, this next incident, it took place in the parish of St. James. It took place on the night of Wednesday, February 16, 2022, about some minutes after 9 o'clock. What we are learning is that a lady... She's in her mid-twenties and she's a security officer. This lady, she just got back home from work and she was alone in her house. But the mistake that this female made was that she left her front door open. A raper bull who lived in the area and who has been watching this lady for a while. He entered the house through the door that she had left opened. He was armed with a knife. He used this knife to joke down the lady and told her that if she screamed, dirt for her. This hoodlum, he then gagged her mouth and bound her hands and her feet. The rapable, he then proceeded to have his way with this young lady. When he was done, he searched the house and took the lady's two cellular phones and almost 10,000 Jamaican dollars in cash. But this hoodlum, he was not done because... The young lady, she saw his face and this hoodlum, this rapable, he was afraid that this lady would be able to point him out and he would end up in jail. So you know what this piece of, you know what this hoodlum did? He used the knife to juke up, juke up the lady. She received injuries to her head, her back, her shoulders and behind her left ear. There was this lady, on the floor, tied up, gagged and bleeding like crazy. The hoodlum, he then thought that he had given her enough stab and she was not going to survive. He then left out of the house and made good his escape. But this young security officer, she was determined to live. She was determined to tell the police who this rapable was and send him to prison. She gained some strength and she managed to free herself. She then ran out of the house and made an alarm. Residents, they assisted her and they called the police. The young lady, she was assisted to a nearby hospital where she was treated and admitted. She was able to give the police a description of the raper bull who attacked her. The raper bull, on learning that this young lady survived, his onslaught, he ran away from the area and he went to hide in the parish of Clarendon. Remember, I told you that this incident, it took place on February 16. Well, almost 10 months later, on Sunday, November 27, 2022, the Clarendon police, they received certain intelligence. As a result, they carried out an operation and this rapable, he was picked up. He was sent back to the parish of St. James and on Friday, December 2, 2022, this young lady, she was able to positively identify this piece of crap on an identification parade. As a result, he was charged by the police 
Now, his name is Joani Brissett. He is 26 years old. His first name, it is spelled J-O-E-W-A-U-N-Y. He has a few profiles on Facebook. You can go there and look him up. Joani, he was charged for hold on and take away. Robbery with aggravation and wounding with intent. And he'll be going to the courts shortly. Now, young lady. Young lady who was assaulted. Please, may I beg you. Please, I'm begging you. Ensure that you go to court when the time comes. And give evidence against this rapable. Don't allow him to get away with it. And talking about persons being tied up. Two guns are now in the hands of the criminal underworld. This is after an incident that took place broad daylight yesterday in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, I'm not going to tell you who the victims are, but this incident, it took place in the Savannah Lamar police area. So, this is what we are learning. Two retirees. The man, he's about 78 years old and his wife, she's about 79 years old. They would normally go to church on a Sunday, but yesterday... Sunday, December 4, 2022, they didn't go. The man, he's a licensed firearm holder. He owns a .38 revolver and a Remington 12-gauge shotgun. About 12.30 yesterday afternoon, both the man and his wife, they were sitting and relaxing in their backyard when they were surprised by four hoodlums. They were armed with guns. Apparently, these hoodlums thought the man and his wife, they were at church. So they came to break into the house. Because we are told that apart from them being armed with guns, they also had crowbars and hacksaw blades. They held up the man and his wife. They then tied up the man and proceeded to ransack the house. They stole the two guns and a combined total of 17 rounds. They also stole cash amounting to over 300000 Jamaican dollars. They then made good their escape. Luckily, neither the man nor his wife were harmed. The mayhem. The may so let me ask you something. Let me ask you <laughs> something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to do it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, we are now heading to 150,000 subscribers. Ensure that you are sharing the channel. Ensure that you are telling a friend to tell a friend. Now, in the final story for today, this one took place early yesterday morning. Sunday, December 4, 2022, about 1 o'clock. It took place along the Amity Main Road in the Betteltown Police Area in the parish of Westmoreland. So, this is what we are learning. A man, his name is Michael Hilton. He is 46 years old and he is said to be a technician. He lived at a place named Retrieve in the Betteltown Police area in the parish of Westmoreland. Michael, he and his girlfriend, they had gone to attend a wakeyard in the area. Do you know what a wakeyard is? Well, a wakeyard, it is the last gathering before the day of the funeral for someone who has died. At some wakeyard, they play all kind of music. So, Michael... He and his girlfriend, they left the wakeyard sometime after 12 midnight and they were walking to their home. But, for whatever reason, someone wanted Michael and that someone was waiting on Michael in ambush because that hoodlum knew the route that Michael would take to go home. On reaching a certain section along the road, the hoodlum pounced. He opened a barrage of gunshots at Michael, hitting him several times in his chest and his upper body. Michael's girlfriend, who was not the target for this hoodlum, she was not harmed. Michael fell to the ground and the hoodlum, he made good his escape on foot in the area. Michael, he was rushed by residents to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. We are told that when this crime scene was processed, 16 Spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend. 
about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. Hey, private and mash up Jamaica. Criminals, them and mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica. China